Since the pandemic, cocaine use has skyrocketed. This has obvious negative consequences for our health, but what impact does this have on our skin and the aging process? Hi guys, my name is Dr. Haroon. I'm a cosmetic doctor based in the UK. If you're curious about how certain lifestyle choices can impact your health and your appearance, today's topic will interest you. We're going to be discussing the not so glamorous side of cocaine and its effect on our skin and the aging process. Whether for educational purposes or for personal insight, I hope you find this video helpful. Let's get into it. Let's first look at some of the short-term effects cocaine has on our skin. Cocaine is a vasoconstrictor, which means that it causes blood vessels to constrict, resulting in reduced blood flow to our skin. Not only does this give our skin a pale and sometimes bluish tone, it also limits the amount of oxygen and nutrients your skin cells need to thrive. This will ultimately result in your skin having a dull complexion with an unhealthy skin tone. Regular users of cocaine also experience increased bouts of acne, rashes, and in more severe cases, skin ulceration. This has negative short-term effects on your skin, but in the long term, it can result in scarring and permanent changes to skin texture. Now, let's look at some of the longer-term effects of cocaine use on the aging process. Cocaine use accelerates the breakdown of collagen, similar to the effects seen in chronic sun exposure or smoking. Collagen in our skin is crucial for maintaining elasticity and firmness, so its degradation can lead to premature wrinkles and sagging. Cocaine also has a dehydrating effect on the body, which extends to the skin. Chronic dehydration can fast track the development of fine lines and wrinkles. It can also lead to your skin looking flaky and dull over time. The impaired blood flow to the skin due to cocaine use not only affects the skin's appearance, but it also compromises the skin's ability to heal and regenerate. This means slower recovery from skin injuries, higher infection rate, and generally poorer outcomes for skin health. Lastly, cocaine use can lead to a spike in cortisol levels, which is a hormone that's typically associated with stress. Increased levels can lead to a number of negative effects on the skin, including increased oil production, inflammation, and thinning of the skin. So we now know that cocaine can result in short and long-term negative effects on the skin. But is there any way to reverse or minimize the effects of cocaine-related skin damage? Fortunately, our skin's ability to repair itself is excellent, and there's a few things you can do to help with this process. This should go without saying, but stopping or at least minimizing the consumption of cocaine will have the biggest positive impact on your skin. This will improve blood flow and oxygen, giving your skin the chance to heal itself. To maintain optimal skin hydration, it's important to increase your daily water intake. Additionally, incorporating a diet rich in antioxidants can also help your skin to heal itself, which will give your skin a healthier appearance over time. Some of you may want to see more noticeable changes in a shorter period of time, and this is where injectable skin boosters play a role. Skin boosters such as Profilo and polynucleotides are excellent at hydrating the skin, reversing cellular damage, and stimulating collagen production. This will dramatically speed up the recovery process and help reverse some of the cocaine-related skin damage. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found it helpful in one way or another. The allure of cocaine does come at a high cost. It has huge negative effects on your health and your skin. I hope this video will help you make better and more informed choices in the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.